What's up, good people? This is Eddie Gray back at it again with resources for the modern creative. This is all brought to you by HFMusicAcademy.com. And as you can see today, we are covering something really, really special here. We're covering earnings from the last quarter. The purpose of this series, Making Money Making Music, is to basically show creative people just like you that there are paths, opportunities, Perhaps you may not see them right now. Perhaps they may not exist in your consciousness, but sooner or later, it just takes one piece of information, one person to completely alter the course of your life. So let's go ahead and take a look at this statement here. We can see clearly that ABC, CBS, syndicated television, Fox is paying a good amount. This is probably from Young and the Restless, I don't know, maybe something on a sports show. We're about to take a closer look. Local TV is playing a nominal fee, but really it's the cable TV in my instance that's really providing uh, the bulk of the royalties here. I'm super happy about what's happening with streaming, all things Hulu, Netflix, Disney streaming. All this stuff is starting to make a difference. And then there's an additional category, which we'll take a look at. In a second here, so two thousand four hundred and sixty dollars uh, to date. It looks like I have made nine thousand four hundred and fifty-two dollars per just streaming royalties. I want you to bear in mind that there are people that make a lot more, substantially more. This is not something to boast about. This is this is certainly not something I'm doing uh, to get any kind of attention, admiration, whatever. I don't care about any of that stuff. My primary aim is to help the modern creative. That's you, somebody on a laptop, somebody that just bought a DJ system yesterday, somebody that's trying to come up and find their path in today's musical landscape. So when we first thought of this series, my team and I just remember thinking, why don't we just show them the numbers and figures? Wouldn't it be a beautiful thing if you got to see somebody? I often think of myself as a 13-year-old kid that just bought a guitar. So here's Young and the Restless, as I told you. Uh, this is a great track with a great collaborator. I believe this is Michael B. from... I know he was, he's Greek. Nice guy. Um, so let's see how we fared here with Fox. Uh, Ultimate Tag, this is a song with a collaborator, and I placed this through Jingle Punk. So every time you see that JP, you know that the monies are coming from that specific music house, that specific publisher. So it looks like we're on The Voice again. Rooftops, I don't remember this song, but it looks like it's also going through JP. That might be with the outstanding and astounding Andrew Stanton. Check him out phenomenal guitar player he's actually starting a guitar academy very soon check him out so we are on fast and loud um, as you can see right here on my screen sometimes what they do is they will kind of block out the title of the queue and what they call it is fast and loud queue so they just kind of put them together in such a way where you're not really getting the real deal information uh you know what track is it it does tell you the duration but you're not really getting the actual track if you do want further information go into your pro and then break this down find this particular placement queue and look at the writer share and you should have a better sense of who's publishing it uh, and and who's in control there so again this is the bulk of my earnings here we're not going to go through everything because it would simply just take too long but one thing I noticed when I was analyzing this was the, the bulk of my earnings are coming basically from four companies. So I want to encourage everybody out there today that's looking for a path. You don't have to be in music licensing, by the way. You can be a streaming artist. You can be a live performer. You can remix. You can DJ, whatever the case my, may be. But But please just stay on the path. This is my guy here, Devin Norris. We did collaboration with one of the very first publishers I ever worked with. Um, so yeah, thank you for that. Much love, much respect. Devin is an outstanding composer, string arranger, absolutely incredible talent. 
Looks like American Pickers is really starting to pick up for me on my end. And so I highly recommend that you look for publishers that sell your music. You want them to champion you. You want them to be all about you and to look for you and to reach out to you and to be in communication. Probably the best thing that you see American Pickers all around, right? So things are really starting to come together uh, with that specific connection. Very glad that I met that publisher and supervisor. Looks like Jingle Punks is also getting me on Pickers, so I'm, I'm kind of hitting it from two angles, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, pick like a honey badger. Don't mess with the honey badger. There you go. Uh, lots of good things happening here. Again, this series is simply just a reflection of you, something that you could do, that you can be. And the, the goal, the aim is always to, to, to do more, obviously. But in order to do more, you have to be more inside and it has to become possible in your consciousness. And so that's what all this is really all about, guys. I wish I had seen somebody just be a bit more transparent, talk about the path, how they got there. Uh, again, this is out of Curio. Again, this is with Michael B. Uh, looks like we got him placements as well on American Pickers. So that's really good. Um, lots of stuff coming from below deck, all cable television. This is stuff I did years ago, by the way. So it's really nice to see. This is a song I did with probably the second or third publisher that I ever worked with. And look, it's still doing its thing, still making some dividends. So thank you for that. Uh, one of the guys I started with, Mr. Kevin Comden, Gator Stop, I believe that's his song. And so glad to see him scoring some buckets. What else is going on here? Uh, some more stuff by one of my primary publishers. Really good. I'm trying to see if there's any big ticket placements. Um, looks like we're just getting nominal back in royalties on most of this stuff. So, again, the point is please stay on the path and look for it. If you know my story, please look me up. Vimeo.com slash Eddie Gray or Eddie Gray Music, I forget. I was an aspiring singer-songwriter, and I knew I had to make money doing this. I knew that at some point I had to see it. I had to feel it. I had to buy new gear, and this world has afforded me the opportunity to do just that. And on top of that, it's afforded me the opportunity to help other people. I've helped my daughter. She is, has gone to private school because of this, and so obviously it's made a massive difference, and so you can understand my my zealous nature here and why I'm enthusiastic is because this can actually make quite a difference. Check this song out. Pugnacious Ignatius from another one of my publishers. Song I wrote um, really just kind of off the cuff. It was just something I put together. It was a really cool guitar riff. Maybe I'll bring a guitar and I'll show it to you. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be the best in the world. I recommend that you fight and that you do your best to be, the you know, obviously like optimum and, and 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 take it as far as you can but all i'm saying is you don't have to be prepared you don't have to have it all figured out you don't have to read every blog listen to every podcast just get to work and be in action and of course that action is going to return by way of royalties 12 dollars here 34 here uh was it three bucks here two bucks here most of these shows i've never even watched never even heard of them the goal is just Look, I deserve it. It's plain and simple. I've earned it. I've worked really, really hard on all fronts. Music, administrative, personally, spiritually. And so if there is a guy somewhere in Cali that can do it, you can too. We're no different. You probably have more training than I do. It doesn't matter. You probably have less training than I do. What matters is that your intention is there and that you really care about the music. Here's a song I, uh, I did called Dust and Sound. I'll never forget this one because I used an amazing sound pack. I forget the name of the sound pack. Um, I'll try and see if I can look for it, but um, I just remember it like really coming together, finding some great sounds for that, for that project. It was like tension. Um, yeah, let's see. Anything else here worth mentioning? Living Stars, I believe. Yeah, this is a guy named Chris Small. He's actually 
uh, quite the ambassador. He's doing a lot for musicians all over the world, paying a lot of uh, uh, people with his company. Check him out. Dario Forzato here, collaboration with his amazing composition. Uh, all great stuff. What else we got here? Anything else? Anything else? So look, I know that there are people that make way more cash in this world than I do, but I have a goal and I've said it publicly. I've said it with friends. My goal is to hit 18,000 songs. I'm currently over 6,000. Thanks to all of just the, the work my team does, collaborators, different people that I've been able to work with, publishers that have really helped push my music. Always grateful for that. Uh, so here's again, Chris Small. Here's again, Kevin Comden. Oh, cool. He, he landed a Hollywood medium. I remember when he wrote this song. That's funny. Uh, this is Marshall Usinger, phenomenal collaborator. The guy is just absolutely wicked. Check him out on Instagram. Such a world-class talent. Um, let's see here. Anything else worth mentioning? Again, Marshall Usinger. So here, why don't I move away from uh, performing rights blanket uh, and I will maybe come down a little further and see if I could find. Now, this is still blanket. Tell, we've gotten into the world of Wicked Tuna here. So that's awesome. But I'm looking for uh, not cable television. Let me just go a bit further down here. Okay, audio visual. So if that's not your thing, maybe music licensing is not your thing. Well, maybe you can get your songs as an artist placed on television shows within streaming so this is amazon channel subscriptions um this is a great collaborator um out of tennessee this is a song that i wrote uh for dj khaled ice cube never seen it you the best here we go sig betrayer this is again devin norris really awesome guy um i don't remember this song but i do remember i wrote some tension cues a while back uh that might have fit that bill Que puedo hacer? I know this one right here is probably some Latin cues that I did. Some of you guys know I'm Mexican, and I use all of it. The, you know, I started playing guitar when I was a kid, so I used that. I got into hip-hop, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, Eminem, 50 Cent, all that stuff. And so I take some of that, and I make music for any and all opportunities. Right now, as it stands, I have mixing clients. I just finished a heavy metal rock song for one client. Um, I just finished a kind of like hybrid orchestral rap thing. And I did another beautiful ballad. As you can see right here, Born This Way. I was the head composer on that show. So that's still providing di dividends off Amazon Prime. So just so, so grateful for this opportunity to be building and building um for years and years and years here. So I'm excited about where this is going to go. All right, let's get through Amazon Prime and let's see if we can get to, uh, let's see, something else. I just want to see where else there's money coming in. Amazon Video is absolutely crushing it. Look at all this stuff. You got to think of all the people all over the world, right? Everybody has a smartphone now, everywhere, all countries, all demographics. So find a way to get your music placed. R ringtones, I don't know, anything. Here's Apple channel subscriptions. See if I see anything worth mentioning here. There's that dust and soundtrack again. Let me see if I can find the, uh, the loops for that. I will do my best to find that construction kit. Um, yeah, I just used a couple of sounds. Dance Moms, when I first started, still, still going strong. Absolutely amazing. I see Towards the Horizon. Uh, I don't know if I remember that. Juliana and Bill. I mean, this is dating back three, four, five years. So lots of great stuff. Again, I was the composer on The Healer as well, along with collaborator Devin Norris. That was awesome. Um, Apple Video On Demand. Oh, there's Disney Plus. Uh, there's Hulu, right? So anyway, I hope you get the point. I will continue to do these just to spread a little bit of love perhaps get people pumped up about the possibility of cashing in on their gift this was given to you for a reason it is your responsibility i believe to take it to harness it and take your gift to the next level this is eddie gray signing off 
on behalf of everybody on the channel resources for the modern creative and then hfmusicacademy.com as a whole we want to thank you so much for the opportunity to serve you thank you for watching our videos thank you for subscribing and thank you for just being a part of what we do it only becomes special because you're here i just want to be clear about that uh, if, if we did not conduct it this way think about it i would just be in a, a guy in a room talking by myself and uh, here check this out eddie's new song i will close like this when i first started i was an artist I, all i wanted to do was make music i could not monetize that life I, I it didn't work i did really well i was super proud of my accomplishments but here we are i used that as a springboard to the person that i've become today i'm now working with apple through a company called LearnQuest. i'm number one in the apple community forum have been for the last couple weeks uh teaching over at hfmusicacademy.com my latest course has 4500 downloads so check that out just doing so much to serve the modern creative it's why i get up in the morning i want to help individuals get to the next level and i've already done it if you haven't seen it check out the channel composer spotlight we're helping a lot of people really accomplish their dreams so with that all being said we're going to sign off thank you very much if you think this will be helpful to somebody right somebody that's trying to figure out how to make money in the world of music production licensing composition go ahead and send them this uh this video thank you very much for your time we'll catch you on the next one cheers peace